the mission of our company is to provide a better quality of uh, life to families in slums and villages all over the world. Uh, specifically, we started with uh, roofing uh, and we figured out that roofing is a key problem, a critical problem uh, through a market research that we did before starting this company. Uh, before starting this company, I myself traveled across uh, four states of India, rural areas uh, and slums, understanding the housing situation there and even talking to the building material suppliers, uh, masons and contractors who build the houses. So we, I understood the entire housing ecosystem uh, thoroughly. I ended up talking to 600 people, like individuals, you know, families uh, plus uh, uh, all these uh, uh, partners in the eco housing ecosystem and <clears throat> I realized that people had built some sort of brick walls over time but 80% of uh, the people I spoke to, 80% of them had poor quality roofing and these roofs were uh, corrugated metal sheets and corrugated cement sheets and unanimously nobody was happy uh, with this roofing. And uh, I could go on and on with the kind of stories we heard in field, right? We'd go to a village and we'll see all the houses locked. And uh, there'll be women who would be sitting under a tree out away from their uh, homes. So I'd ask them, they'd, oh, you know, why are you here? They'd go, our house is so hot uh, in afternoons that we cannot stay in there. And uh, <clears throat> many, so, uh, I, we found another family where you know, uh, the older person in the family had breathing problems and he attributed that to uh, poor quality roofing and the suffocation that, you know, uh, cement sheets caused, you know. So we saw all these stories again and again and again and, you know, and uh, so we realized that uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a very critical problem, you know, and over time, of course, then we extrapolated our research, we spoke to high level partners in India and globally and we realized that it's a global problem also. So first ask was you know what material will all this be made of so we started to experiment with packaging waste initially you know so cardboard waste and plastic waste uh, we also got like agricultural waste so all these I collected all this waste uh, uh, bags of waste material in like our kitchen backyard and I would start experiment there. We wanted four properties from the product so it had to be a strong roof, water tight roof, heat insulating roof and a beautiful roof aesthetics. So these, are the four, these were the four properties we were looking to have in a product. So we set about making something you know. Uh, but very soon we added a fifth uh, requirement also which was modularity. With modularity, the way we uh, you could define it in a lot of ways, but the way we defined modularity was uh, easy to ship, easy to install, and easy to repair and maintain. So we realized that if you wanted scale and if you wanted to go into like narrow lanes in slums or very far away in villages or a fifth floor in some building, then this has to how are we going to install it? Who is going to install it in all these remote parts or far away parts? So that ease of installation and ease of shipping and fortunately it also resulted in ease of repair and maintenance also became an integral requirement you know from the product. So we set about we developing such a product which would satisfy uh, strength, waterproofing, heat insulation, aesthetics and modularity which was the most fun part actually uh, of the whole journey. I still would love to go back to those days someday. Uh, so anyway, so that's what we did uh, and eventually we succeeded in making like a, a, a panel from waste cardboard with natural binders, certain additives uh, but still all natural and we would compress it and we made like a board, a panel, you know, which was made from all these waste materials and we got the properties that we wanted, you know, in terms of uh, strength, insulation and then we had to waterproof it and you know that was very challenging so we went through like more than 300 attempts but anyway so we created this uh, panel board you know which uh, turned out to be uh, completely waterproof, fireproof, termite proof and it had a dry manufacturing process and that enabled us to then scale up the business.